Sri Lanka is prone to frequent climate changes. The agriculture in which nearly 25% of the labor force is employed is the most affected sector owing to climate changes. The government of Sri Lanka launched the Climate Smart Irrigated Agriculture Project or CSIAP under the Ministry of Agriculture, financed by the World Bank as a special project to improve the livelihood of the beneficiaries in the project area, who are subjected to extreme climatic events. This program emphasized on the rehabilitation of small tank cascades in dry zone, aiming for conserving water for agriculture to face the frequent water shortage. The World Bank provides a loan of 110 million US dollars for this project. Sri Lankan government contributes 10 million US dollars and the community contribution is estimated at 5 million US dollars, thereby amounting the total cost of the entire project to 125 million US dollars. The project will last till 2024. The project is implemented in the most climatically vulnerable areas identified as climatic hotspots in the districts of Anuradhapura, Polan Naroa, Mulativ, Kilinakchi, Korunagala, Puttalam, Trincomalee, Batakalo, Ampera, Monaragala and Hambantata, located in six provinces of the dry zone. 1,200 irrigation tanks will be rehabilitated under the project to enable over 65,000 farmer families to cultivate 81,468 hectares of land. The significance of the CSIAP is that it took the proposals of the farmers into consideration in planning the interventions in hotspot areas following the bottom-to-top concept. The project has started to rehabilitate irrigation tanks anicots, canals and drainage systems of 121 cascades in hot spot areas enhancing access to water for farmers to face the imminent difficulties that could emerge against the agriculture. The CSIAP implements various interventions at present. The overall objective of the project is to improve the livelihood of the farming community in hot spot areas through improving climate resilience and increase in agriculture productivity. The overall objective of modernizing 47 Agrarian Service Centers or ASCs in the 11 districts, is to develop these centers as one-stop service centers with a aim of providing an efficient service to the farmers. Five main sectors have been identified for this purpose. Modernization of the existing centers. Information and communication technology support. Farm machinery unit. Assistance for Marketing and Institutional Development and Capacity Building At present, civil work has been completed in 31 centres and other remaining centres are under construction. The total civil cost of this is 337.4 million rupees. ASC digitalization will address the issues of providing pressing information such as information on weather, crop production technology, market prices of crops, marketing opportunities, marketing links and disaster information. Interactive terminals make farmers' access to utilities easy, simple, cost-effective and time-saving improving the standards of life. Effective utilization of these information results improvement in the livelihood of the beneficiaries in the project area. The estimated total cost of this to pilot in two ASCs is 8.16 million rupees. Farm mechanization is to be promoted to reduce cost of production and increase the productivity. Fully equipped farmer machinery units will be established in ASCs increasing farmer access to machineries. The total estimated cost of the two pilot units is approximately 239 million rupees. Agricultural programs of the CSIAP have been launched with the sidelines of the government's national food production drive under Sorbahak Yadekma. 
the CSIRP implemented agriculture programs introducing climate smart agriculture at the cost of 247.64 million rupees from 2022 until today and produced over 19,694 metric tons of other field crops or OFC which is equivalent to 1.47% of the national requirement saving 1215 million rupees the food production programs in yellow season 2020 and 21 were implemented in 11 hot spot areas when the economy of the country was influenced by the covid-19 pandemic This strengthened the local food production while saving valuable foreign exchange that is spent for the import of other food crops. 7451 metric tons of other field crops were produced with the involvement of 11137 beneficiaries including 4848 women farmers under yellow program. Farmers earned 1097 million rupees. Mahar season 2020 and 21 program covered 3483 hectares in 11 districts with 8424 beneficiaries including 3196 women farmers while promote climate smart agriculture practices. The project's expenditure was 48.56 million rupees and farmers earned 1081 million rupees. 9168 metric tons of food were produced during this period. This program promotes short-term crops utilizing the residual moisture left in the field after the rice crop in 11 hot spot areas in 2020 and 21 maha season. 1060 hectares were covered with 3179 beneficiaries including 1102 women farmers. The project spent 19.2 million rupees and the total income earned by farmers was 335 million rupees. 786 metric tons of grains were produced during this period. Based on a cluster of selected villages in the 11 hot spot areas, the climate smart agricultural practices were implemented while targeting potential markets. This program covered 449.8 hectares with 1507 beneficiaries including 499 women farmers. The project spent 47.5 million rupees. Accordingly, 2289 metric tons of food crops have been produced and farmers earned 387 million rupees. The program has been introduced with the aim of assuring household food security and increasing the nutritive level of the beneficiary farmer community. Home gardens were introduced to beneficiary houses with the objective of saving minimum of 10% of monthly expenses on food items. In the project area, producing chemical free fresh vegetables, fruits and yams following climate smart agricultural practices. 2695 home gardens out of 4230 are already established in 11 districts. The estimated total cost of this is 84.88 million rupees. The project will take action to push this program by setting up women producer societies. The CSIRP establishes a climate smart model village in each ASC to deal with implications of climate change while cultivating at village level. The main objective of this program is to highlight the importance of climate smart agriculture in project areas to improve crop productivity. This program commences in the Maha season 2021 and 22 and the total estimated cost of this is 131.61 million rupees. 1000 small holder farmers to improve their livelihood 
because their agricultural ventures are vulnerable to imminent disasters due to climate change. Thus the project is assisting the government's policy of Saw Bahag Yadekma to develop the agricultural economy of the island with the objective of eliminating poverty.